This is Merman's review of Heroes and Cowards, a brand new adventure game from Out of Order Softworks published by Protovision. This was an unreleased game developed by the Bite Riders Group, famous for their 1990s adventure games including Brubacker, Logan, The Yawn and commercial release Crime Time. Once the prototype had been recovered, Out of Order sorted out bugs and added the intro and outro to complete the game. The initial batch of box games sold out quickly. The Lavish Heroes edition came with soundtrack CD, keychain and certificate and was strictly limited in numbers. Here you can see the steelbook that all boxed editions came in. A second batch of Cowards editions was made available, and I purchased number 84. This is the game in a steel box with a manual and a free pentagram keychain. The disc has two sides. One side is the game in English, the other the German version. The manual is also two-sided in English and German, containing instructions, a history of the Bite Riders games, and an interview. The game is now available as a digital download through itch.io. If you order the premium edition, you also get the soundtrack album as MP3s. After the familiar Protovision intro of electrons swirling around the atom, you get the title sequence, including an out-of-order logo and credits for the game. The player has been drawn into the world of Dartonwood by the Council of Power. You must find the five rubies to activate the pentagram of power and defeat the evil wizard Morlon. The final screen in the intro shows the player watching TV, only to be hit by the magic that draws him into another dimension. Starting the game gives the interface. At the top of the screen is the current location portrayed graphically. Below is the description window telling you more about what is present. To the right of the location graphic is the compass showing the possible exits, and to the left is the pentagram displaying how many of the five rubies you have found. Below the location graphic is the action window controlled by joystick import 2 or the cursor keys, and return. This is like classic Lucasfilm Adventures Labyrinth from Maniac Mansion, where selecting actions and objects is made easier than typing. Game cape consists of finding and using objects, talking to and helping people, and finding the five rubies. Be sure to read the descriptions carefully, as items described in the text are important to examine or manipulate. The graphics for each location are nicely drawn and quick to load. The music is ex excellent with several different pieces representing different sections of the game. Translation is good and the menu system means it's easier to find what to do, rather than struggling in, with typing in lots of things. As you can see from this short demonstration, it is very easy to use the controls and to find a large adventure set out before you. Congratulations to Out of Order and Protovision for publishing an excellent title that many 64 fans, I'm sure, will have been waiting for for over 20 years, since that is how long the prototype waited to be discovered. I've been Merman, this has been my first video review for Scene World, so I hope uh, you enjoyed it, and there will be more soon. Thank you.